Hello and welcome to the Strain Sim Classic video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a drive, um, a general drive with six Victor 62, which is um, the Foley SO to St. Phillips Marsh working. Now, this working did feature on Mark's TTA tanker video, but that was on uh, Southwestern Expressways to Reading. And on today's video, we're going to be featuring the run just as it comes off the Foley branch. So, um, literally at the beginning of its working. Um, and as well, on this scenario, it's literally. Um, the working of its last working um, after 25 years of uh, operation so uh, we'll get underway here uh, get the cab set up and we're going to just gonna take a short drive it's not a long one by any means but, um, i think as far as I said denny's so we're going to go through uh, navigate through southampton as well on this one and just make our way through there so uh, we're joining six victor 62 on the 09 13 for the so to st Phillips marsh on the approach of totten yard or totten yard shall i say that is actually um Please set up the cab and depart when ready. Please check your briefing in the uh, on the F1 there for more information. Okie dokie, right. Let's uh, just get the instrument lights on. And we are good to go, really, because I've only got the headlights on. So 25 years after the working begun, is now um, the end of the line, pun intended for the Foley St. Phillips Marsh fuel runs. These workings supply fuel to St. Phillips Marsh before it would then continue a 60, 62 to depots at Lara and Long Rock. With these workings coming to an end, the flavour now would be via the road. It now equates to 30 additional lorry movements um, and you will be the final scheduled run of the Foley workings as far as St. Denny's. At Eastleigh, the train will split and then run around um, the run around procedure and then uh, it'll obviously go onwards to where it needs to get to. Um, there's no issues reported, however, you are lower priority than other services, so do not expect a clear run. And this was also in 2013. So obviously Mark did the main video with these um, tankers. However, his, his load was a lot more smaller. Um, he did the AP scenario that came with the pack. So uh, yeah, this one is from um, Robbo. Uh, Robo 13, you'll probably be very, very familiar with his scenarios. Um, does some crackers. I'll put the link in the description if you wish to have a play of it. It's on Southampton to Bournemouth. Um, and again, yeah, it just shows off these lovely, lovely wagons. Um, at the point of recording this video, it's uh, Monday the 7th. So we haven't yet seen, well, how, I haven't yet seen at the point of recording this video what the next and final Wagon Wednesday's pack's going to be. So um, no doubt that will probably be dropped at some point. Um, during the day, or it could be even when I'm uh, doing the scenario. But anyway, yeah, keep your eye out on AP's website, and, uh, Facebook, and all that. If you're watching this after the seventh, um, which will be the ninth, so ninth, um, they'll have already released. So depends where you're watching this video, really. But yeah, it's been a it's been a cracking. Uh, Couple of packs so far. I drove these on uh, on the stream on the Friday night, just gone, and I hadn't driven them. I thought well, I'll take them for a drive, find a scenario, and we did um, the liquid liquid gas tank ones, the um, the white livered ones. That was a really good one. That was on this route as well. Um, that's available uh, off ATS's website. So if you if you fancy having a run on them do do take a look it's a nice scenario and it's with a 67 which is something a little bit different we're just going to come in easier because we have a single yellow just as we go off the branch so we've got an mod working there as well green yeah we do although i'm not gonna put too much power on because it's 15 in the moment so oh no we don't have a green we've got a red I better put some brakes on really and look at the green on the other side that's for the other line assume waiting for this voyager to uh pass and maybe anything that's going in the other direction as well Yeah, 
need to install my sound pack back on those. Just can't hear him. <laughs> So yeah, the final six Victor 62. Very well known working as well, this was. I think there's a whole web... I think Mark mentioned that um, there's, a, there's a website dedicated to it. All information. Oh, that signal on the right's just gone red. I'm going to presume we're waiting for something going the opposite, uh, opposite direction, like our, our way. Uh, we'll be uh, we're there. I oh, know there's another. There's a Weymouth coming. Obviously, it's a bit busy at the moment. Well, Manchester Piccadilly Bournemouth has just left ahead of us as well. But I would expect that this uh, Weymouth service will come through, and then we will um, get the road hopefully. So we've got a mixed, uh, obviously mixed weathered rakeage. You can see quite a lot of dirty ones. A few cleaner ones as well uh, mixed in for good measure. I'm going to make mixed up here. Hang on, where am I looking? At? Oh no, I'm looking in a total different direction. I'm, I'm reading it as it's going to wave. I'm looking from the left, think I'm going that way. We're not going to the right, aren't we? So, right, stupid moment. I'm thinking, where, where's this trailer port? Is it, is it turned up invisible? No, it's not. It's going, up, it's going in our direction. Silly Tom moment. These happen from time to time. <laughs> here we go. We have the road. My, my thoughts as well, um, potentially for the next wagon pack. Now, obviously, at this point, this hasn't dropped or anything. Um, we, the last two packs we've seen have been these uh, single axled um, underframes, like obviously with the four four wheels on them. Um, I'm wondering if we're going to see something again using the same style of underframe, so maybe a PCA tanker or maybe the HEA household cop uh, copper hopper uh, wagons. Now, Fastline did do some HEAs. Um, I mean, they are aged not bad by any means but i'm just wondering if he's uh, planning on doing a pack of them at all yeah but they're, they're more a replacement pack of uh, pca baby now there's probably other wagons that use them there the same under frames and stuff but those two spring to my mind Very interesting to see what he does, though. Oh, forward to it anyway. I'm just good. I'm just refreshing my phone. See now if anything's actually just come up. And then Facebook's having a, a bit of a wobbly now. It's not doing anything. Let me just reload it again. Let's just see if I can find anything. Has anything happened? Doesn't say any new posts. Nope, nothing yet. The last thing that was up there was um, a number of updates, actually. That's quite a good thing to go over. Now, I haven't downloaded these yet, but AP posted uh, a day ago. Uh, so I think it was Saturday night, I think he posted this. Um, basically, so the, a number of updates for the wagon packs that have been recently released. So ICADs, JSAs, GTA, JUA, and PTAs, um, MFAs, MHA, and MTA, TA. TIAY and TTA tank wagons. There's been a number of updates for these. So it says here an update has been uploaded for a number of our recent wagon packs. So this should display the correct 
So they should display correctly in the scenario as the logos, overhead line stickers and variants. So basically my understanding on this is um, now when you place these in, into a scenario and start changing the logos and stuff, they update. Whereas in the past there wasn't updating, so it was making it really, really hard for scenario creators like, like myself um, to see what logo you'd picked. Um, and because the manual was so lacking, I'll just my phone, um, they were so lacking, you couldn't actually see what you were picking. So you'd have to keep going into um, into play mode to, just to see if you'd picked the right logo. And then you turn it turned out that you hadn't done. Then you have to go back to editor, and then eventually you you go so far doing this that your game would crash. So my understanding is it's fixed that's it actually now updates in the ed editor. So you should ch when you change like logo one, two, three, four, however many there is, they should update in real time. Um, so you should just see the change when you input that number, which is very good. So it's not obviously an updated manual, but at least we have um, the changes happening in the scenario now. It would be nice to still have a manual to tell you what and how many different things that you can change to though. Um, I think moving forward would be a very good move to have a fully fledged manual in the same style of how the coaches have done, where they actually have all the information in there. Um, so you're still not having, you still in, in theory have to guess to figure out which logo you want. You're still gonna have to go through them all. Whereas in the manual, you on the coaches and stuff, you could just oh yeah, I need that one. I just need to input that. Or with like your, your locos and thirty seven, yeah, to get that set up, I need to input these numbers. Done. It's, it's a lot quicker and saves a lot of time. But it's nice to see that they've been updated in, in, in some capacity, even in, even to still see the changes, which is good. You just have to guess which logo number you're going to want. It's a, it's a step in the right direction, and it's nice to see it. And if AP has seen my videos and Mark's videos and seen that, and he's taken that on board from there, then thank you very much. I really, really do appreciate that, going back and doing uh, changes to them. It does make life a lot easier. So, hats off and fair play. Grunk pulling some uh, container flats there. Bit of power on. No doubt there'll be a yellow signal in a second. Southampton docks. Plenty of uh, cranes popping into view there. Um, plenty of wagons as well. Nice and busy. Glad to see. I hate it when you go past this yard and there's not much been put in, but that's nice and busy. That I like it. Plenty of locos around as well. There's a few back there and there's a few up here. See a 70 there and some 66s. Very good. Heavy train, this. You can feel the weight behind it. I'm not even sure what load we're on here. What load have we got? Should we have a look? Let's have a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, low 28 for this working for the final one. Got a double yellow there. We're just gonna shave a little bit of the uh, of our speed off. We're going via Southampton Central's up fast lines as well here. Some more stuff on the left hand side. There's another 66 and a load of containers. Based MPV. Cool. So 
I still mean to do another video on that because uh, there was an update ages ago and I've never got around to actually doing anything with it. I did actually set, um, send Duncan a message. I found after the second up, well, the first update came, um, it was missing. I think it was either missing running sounds or track joints. I think it's track joints it's missing. So I, I know he did, he did exp um, acknowledge me. Uh, said he'd have a look, but I'm not sure if anything's been done with it. But we'll have another look at that at some point. I'll have to refresh myself on how to drive it, it's been that long. what I normally do, coming a bit too fast, brake too hard and now I'm not going as fast enough, because knowing my look as well this will end up being like yellow again. So 444 is knocking about here, there's also a 450. That's just changed to yellow that, I think, for us. Take it easy just in case. <laughs> just in case one of these units sets off. But that did look like it was our signal to be honest. Yeah, it is. Oh, we've got a double as well now, so we're, we're alright, we're cooking on gas. Must be the Weymouth um, working that's obviously in front of us. He'll have uh, cleared the station area, I would have thought now. Going via platform one as well so our theatre says just a straightforward run through now to send in his uh, signal E706 is where we're stopping Claggy shed, another container working. Nice and busy, that's what I like to see. Plenty going on. No, weirdly, we've got a double there. And then a red. Oh no, it's changed. Weird. Unless it's working on like an approach control system. But it is a single. We'll just take it easy because by the time we crawl up to these signals, it should change. We don't want to be coming to a, a dead stop. If we see a double, we can put some more power on. There, are some, there is a couple of short blocks on this bit. As you uh, travel out of Southampton. There we go. I'm going to get a screenshot here. Whilst I just try and put my number six key back into my keyboard. Might be a worthy one for a thumbnail. I want to try and get enough space. I look, what I look for is enough space in the sky to actually get the text. So it's like big area to fill. It's the best way I look at it. <laughs>
we're good at green as well now. Um, so yeah, we're not that far now. Just a, a big thanks to everyone as well that's been watching the videos recently. Um, it, the channel's gone from strength to strength um, this last few weeks, even more so, um, which is really nice to see. Uh, we started doing some shorts as well. Um, not shorts that you wear, but short videos. Um, the little like 15, 20 second snippets of just our, our railway footage. So we're dropping those in every so often. So if, I'm not sure. How, I'm not actually sure how they work and how they drop into like your feed, whether you get a notification when we've uploaded them or not, um, or if you watch the shorts, they pop up in there. But there is some in there. There's a couple in there up now. There's a third one I believe that's um, March up uploaded but not yet released. So we're sort of dropping them in, in between when we haven't got a video uh, like a TS Classic or TSW video to put up. Um, so they'll come in uh, sort of between. There's all sorts. We've got loads of footage that. We could fill um, the channel up for a good number of years with the amount of footage that we've got. Mark especially. Um, but yeah, do keep your eye out for them. So there's also all bits of glorious thrash to um, experience. Um, but also, just in, in general watching the normal videos, thank you. Um, but also, don't forget like, share and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for the, uh, future videos. It's all, it all counts and it all matters. I know the big numbers that watch the videos and not always all subscribed, but it's uh, we do appreciate your time just clicking that button. Don't don't want to sound like we're begging, <laughs> but we like we, we like to uh, retain the viewers. We'd like you to come back. And people do come back; they just don't always subscribe. Now, we're just approaching the, the market now, four of a mile, whilst going through all the trees there. Put a little bit of power on. No point flooring it because it's only a small marker. This working will do a run around here and then go back through Southampton or the foot and then go up um, to a Salisbury and then Westbury. I think it's a bit odd because I'm sure you can get go straight through St. Denis and go around and come back through. I think it's through Chandler's Ford and that way around. Unless you, you can't take freights, can't go that way. I don't know. I thought if they could, they'd just send it all the way around. So obviously, there must be a reason why this doesn't do that. There we go. A massive thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Don't forget to catch us on Twitch at twitch.tv uh, underscore trainsim underscore TV. Uh, no, sorry. Let's get that right. Trainsim.tv forward slash trainsim underscore TV. Um, Fridays and Sundays normally. Um, however, at the moment, I'm doing um, heritage tram driving here and there. So if it does land on the day, I'm not streaming. Um, Obviously, I expect not to uh, see me on Twitch, but I will do my best to get other videos and other streams in to make up for the um, the loss of a stream. Um, so stuff still happens in between. Um, catch us on the Facebook and stuff, and we'll uh, let you know anyway when our next streams are. So just, if you keep on there, you'll know what's what. Um, hopefully, next video for me should be AP's next wagon when that drops. So um, hopefully, there'll be another video in, in the week. Uh, for that and then otherwise keep your eye out because mark's got plenty of videos also so yeah on that note i'm going to leave it there thank you very much for watching link is in the description for the wagon pack and also the uh, scenario featured in today's video again thank you and we'll see you soon bye for now